This story is called Teddy's Day in the Forest. It's written by Brenda Martin Eldred and illustrated by Louise B. Satterfield. Teddy was wide awake even before the sun began to smile through the curtains. We're going to Silver Lake for a picnic, he called to a speckled bird chirping outside his window. Then he ran downstairs for breakfast. Teddy's mother was wearing a flowered apron over her yellow picnic dress. As she put Teddy's favorite breakfast on the table, pancakes with butter and honey, father said, we must get ready quickly because it's a long way to Silver Lake. Mother packed the picnic basket and lemonade safely in the little red car, and soon they were driving toward the far off hills. An old gray donkey looked at them over a gate and Teddy waved his hand. We're going for a picnic at Silver Lake, he called to the donkey. They drove until the hills began to look very near and the trees grew close together. Father turned onto a bumpy, narrow trail and Teddy saw rabbits playing and heard rat-a-tat, rat-a-tat of a woodpecker. This is the trail to Silver Lake, Father said. We'll be there soon. Teddy was so excited that he stood up on the back seat to see all that he could. Suddenly, the car bounced over a big bump and Teddy toppled out. He landed softly in a pile of leaves. When he picked himself up, the car was gone and he was all alone. Oh dear, he said, how will I ever find Silver Lake? As he sat wondering what to do, the rabbits he had seen from the car scampered by. Maybe they can tell me the way to Silver Lake, Teddy said to himself. But when he asked them, they said, we usually travel through our underground burrows, so we don't know the way on top of the ground. As the rabbits hopped away, Teddy heard the woodpecker pecking on the bark of a nearby tree. Do you know the way to Silver Lake? Teddy called to the woodpecker. If you could fly, I'd take you there, the woodpecker replied, but I don't know the way on the ground. And with that, he flew off, leaving Teddy alone. Teddy sat down on a log to think. He thought about all the tasty things his mother had packed in the picnic basket, and he began to worry that he might miss the picnic altogether. While he was thinking, he heard footsteps. He got up quickly to see who it was, and to his great surprise, saw a real bear coming through the trees. The real bear looked just as surprised to see Teddy. What are you? boomed the real bear at Teddy. I'm a bear, Teddy said nervously. We were on our way to a picnic and I fell out of the car. I'm trying to find the way to Silver Lake. The big bear laughed. Ha ha ha. If you were a bear, you would know the way to Silver Lake. We bears know every path there is. I'm a teddy bear. Teddy bears don't live in the forest, he said, and a tear trickled down his cheek. The real bear carefully picked Teddy up and gently wiped away the tear. Don't worry, young fellow. I'll take care of you. You can call me Big Bear. All my friends do. I'll take you to Silver Lake, and on the way, I'll teach you some of the things that every bear should know. Big Bear led the way through the forest. By the way, he asked as he helped Teddy over a fallen tree. What is a picnic? It's when you bring a basket of tasty food to eat outdoors. Why? There is already so much tasty food in the forest, Big Bear said. But when Teddy looked around, he didn't see any food anywhere. Big Bear led Teddy to a sunny place where low bushes were growing. Blueberries, he said. Try some. Teddy ate some berries and found that they were delicious. Would your mother like some for the picnic? asked Big Bear. I know she would, said Teddy. So they picked more blueberries and wrapped them in large leaves from a nearby bush. Soon they came to a stream. Watch me now, Big Bear said. This is another thing bears do. He went back to the edge of the stream and peered into the water. Suddenly, he plunged his paw into the stream and pulled out a fish. For the picnic, Big Bear said, smiling. As they walked on, Big Bear asked, What do you like to eat most of all? Oh, we all like honey better than anything, Teddy said. Big Bear laughed out loud. Ha ha ha. Maybe you're more like a real bear than I thought you were. Big Bear hurried along the forest path so fast that Teddy had to run to keep up. Finally, they stopped at a grassy bank. 
Big Bear pointed up at the branches of a tree. Do you see it? He asked. Teddy could see nothing but leaves and twigs. Big Bear lifted Teddy in one big paw and set him down on his shoulder. Now can you see it? There it was, a beehive tucked in the front of two branches. Teddy knew that bees make honey, the favorite food of all bears. Gather some more leaves while I get the honey. Real bears aren't bothered by bees, but I'm not so sure about you teddy bears. Teddy quickly picked three of the biggest leaves he could find. Then he watched as Big Bear reached up, put his long claws into the hive, and pulled out the most wonderful golden honey that Teddy had ever seen. Teddy skipped excitedly alongside his friend as they made their way toward Silver Lake. Big Bear carried all of the delicious things they had collected in the forest. For your picnic, he said proudly. Soon, Teddy glimpsed a patch of silver through the trees. At last, Silver Lake. There on shore were mother and father talking to a forest stranger. He's much too small to be alone in the forest, said mother, looking very worried. At that moment, mother saw Teddy and Big Bear coming through the trees. She ran over to them and gave Teddy a hug and a kiss. This is my friend, Big Bear, Teddy told them. He found me when I was lost and brought me here. Oh, how can we ever repay you? said mother as she and father gratefully shook Big Bear's paw. We picked berries and Big Bear caught a fish in his paw and then he found honey in a beehive, Teddy said. Big Bear shyly held out the packages to Teddy's mother. For your picnic, he said. You must join us, said father. We've packed enough food for everyone. Big Bear sat down next to Teddy while mother piled their plates high with all the tasty things she had packed and all of the tasty things they had gathered in the forest. When he had cleaned his plate, Big Bear politely asked Mother for second helpings of everything, and so did Teddy. And all the bears agreed that it was the finest picnic they had ever had. The End <laughs>